What's up guys? So today I have a very special, exclusive backstage episode for you featuring the one, the only, Afrojack. Now, of course you guys have seen me talk to him many times in the past, but nothing quite like this. So we're sitting down, talking everything dance music, I'm pretty sure he's going to have some very exclusive chat for us. So sit back, relax and enjoy the Afrojack Groundland backstage vlog. What's up? So this is another episode of Backstage featuring myself and the one and only Afrojack. What's up, man? Hello. I'm good. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. It's good to see you. It's, it's been a minute. It has been a minute. Last time I was in Creamfields with Leibberg Luke? It was. Wow. August 2019. Feels like a lifetime ago. Um, yes. I mean, the past year has been crazy for obviously dance music. We haven't gone anywhere. Um, but you've still been releasing stuff. You've still done your live streams. I've watched Tomorrowland from home. It's, it's been quite surreal the past year. Uh, it's been different, but it's looking like everything is going to go back more to normal. So I'm excited. Okay. I see your name coming up on lineups. You're on Creamfields. You've got a day in the park. As yes. Captain, so that's yeah, that's very exciting. Yeah. Awesome. So the first thing I want to talk about, which is the biggest thing right now, is your brand new single with David Guetta. Mm -hmm. So, of course, I watched the live stream the other night. It was incredible just seeing the two of you guys talking. No, so we're doing the Eurovision Song uh, Festival. Yes. Uh, the Song Contest. And it's coming... Uh, 22nd of May, and then yeah. we're going to be presenting it. Awesome, to awesome. 250 million viewers, so that's going to be insane. Incredible. So I hope in one day we're going to get 100 million streams, but we'll see. Definitely. But with the single, I mean, uh, it's, it's amazing. Of course, you've had so many tracks within the past, but this one kind of brings me back like when love takes over, David Guetta kind of vibes. It's just like a good summary festival kind of feel. But I can't wait to hear, actually hear that on a stage, actually at a festival. And I'm pretty sure you'll make some festival remix of it, I'm sure. Uh, we're already working on it. We're already working on it. Dub yeah. Vision is working on one. Black v nice. is working on one. Yeah. Like well, we posted it on Instagram, like to see like what do the people want to hear. Exactly. You know what to go for. Yeah. I mean, you must be sitting on so many bangers right now. All the festival club hits. Uh, I'm working on some stuff. Yeah, we're I'm excited. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we're all just waiting patiently for everyone that comes out. It's, it's like Christmas. And um, I wanted too. to say, would you ever get a Capuchin Jack back collab? That's actually interesting. That's definitely something to think about. Uh, I was doing an interview yesterday with David, and we also spoke about like we love DJing back to back so much. Yeah, we should do something like this. It'd be amazing. I mean, it's definitely something different for the two of you. Definitely. I'm going to WhatsApp him right now. Cause I thought that when you were doing the live stream, I thought no one's asked that question. It's something definitely uh, you should look into. I think so too. I think it would be amazing. Yeah. I wanted to ask, what, what makes you, why now is Capuchon coming back? Why are you releasing music now? Because obviously you've, you've had the name for some time, but only in the past year the music's come out now. Because I really felt like, it, like I've been doing this for so long and I see all these guys putting out their aliases. And then we had, uh, when COVID came, it's like, well, we don't really have nothing to do, but now we do have the time to put the concept together and put the mm -hmm. focus and create the logo and all this type of stuff. So we really had the time to sit down and focus on it. Because yeah. before the, the main excuse was always, yeah, there's no time because I was always on tour. Now I wasn't on tour. So we actually had time to figure it out and make it good. Plus obviously like big room and all that kind of thing. It's, it's sometimes it's been done for so long now. It's fresh to go for tech or techno and it's just kind of a, a fresher sound, I think. 
Well, yeah, maybe from a release perspective, but I've already been making it five years. Of course, ago. yeah, yeah. But so, in the mainstream kind of things, it's good that the mainstream's kind of taking like a, a new turn and listening. I to think it's music. interesting, but for me, it's also another moment just to do dance music in general. Of course, just yeah. Dance. I mean, music music. With hero. No matter what genre it is, music's music. If it's good, then yeah. Exactly. So, because this series I'm making is called Backstage. I wanted to mention one, uh, actually my favorite backstage moment with you, because obviously I've seen you everywhere, EDC, Tomorrowland, ADE, too many to count. Mm -hmm. But my all-time favorite one was when I was in Glasgow, I asked you in front of Fritz, can I film you at Greenfields? Which I thought was kind of a risky move in front of your own camera guy. But you said you gave me a shot, and I, obviously I loved it. Yeah, I told and, you, just listen to Fritz. Yeah, he's, he's a man of many words. He's a very, very wise guy. But in the moment where I was watching Calvin Harris and thought, oh, damn, like you're, you're coming out soon. I went backstage and you and Luke were walking towards me. But the, the, my favorite moment was the two of you said you weren't actually doing anything in that moment. What can we do? I said, well, Calvin Harris is playing. Do you want to go watch him? So walking through the festival, like my home turf, the Creamfields, just watching Calvin Harris with you guys. To me, that was just a surreal moment. Yeah. It was, it was like, fun. It was myself, yeah. So, you know, like we, we try to keep it normal, you know, like we try to just be normal, do what normal people do and just have fun. And I mean, I backstage is all right. Yeah. You can't beat being in the crowd. The crowd is always going to be the best place. Yeah. For sure. So I've actually made a brand new fresh edit of your set at Creamfields. This is a Capuchin, okay. Capuchin kind of flip. So mm -hmm. this is a Groundland edit, Capuchin, Creamfields. I hope you enjoy. Let's go. Hello, it's Afrojack, and that's laid back Luke. And I'm so excited. <laughs> Cool. So I wanted to ask about Eurovision you mentioned earlier. You're performing mm -hmm. at Rotterdam Ahoy. Is that right? Uh, yes. Yes. I've got good, good memories there from your No Place Like no Home. No Place Like Home, yeah. Yeah. Man, that, that was some night. I got to say that was it was crazy and uh, it was going very well and we were supposed to do uh, follow up nights we're supposed to do it as a yearly event yeah but uh, the partner pulled out last minute so yeah. so we were kind of stuck with no lineup and no uh, budget so it was very complicated well like no pl no place to play but you never know yeah, no place to play but we might do it again sometime yeah definitely i remember you told me that night i think it was like 3 or 4 in the morning i came to the front and uh, you're like bro are you come to ibiza in the morning and obviously, I've, I've had a few drinks. I've had a good night. I'm like, that sounds like a good idea. Hmm. I literally booked the first flight and came out the next day, saw you at high. I've actually got one of the high posters at the back there. But oh, uh, again, an amazing night. Yeah. But yeah, back to the Eurovision. It's a it's a live performance. It's okay. not a, it's not a DJ show. It's like okay. it's like a live show. So you're going to be seeing uh, a lot of live entertainment. Yeah, Let's put it like that. I'm not going to be doing so much. Like most of my work is going into the the pre work. Yeah, uh, composing the entire thing, mixing and matching all the music together. Yeah. Um, but it's it's a show. It's going to be yeah. fun. Like you should watch it. I would definitely be. Wa I watched Eurovision anyway, but the fact you'll be on it, it just it gives it a new twist to it. It's definitely. Yeah, I think it's cool. It's a crazy stage. Awesome. I wanted to ask you, since again it's called backstage. This this whole video, mm -hmm. what is your favorite backstage moment? I mean, you've played around the world. You've seen everyone <sighs> being everywhere. Name me one awesome story backstage. Too many. There must be something out there that thinks, "Wow, that that was something I'll never." Well, like, there's a lot of things like. Uh... 
there's a lot of things I, I just cannot mention, of course. Of course, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I think like one of the craziest things is just to be with all those other artists that are all my favorite artists and just be hanging out and shooting the shit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a photo of you at Tiesto and Calvin Harris years ago. Yeah, it was in Stereo Sonic in Australia. In Australia yeah. Like these type of things are always fun. And being able to watch other artists together with other artists. That's like like what I did with Leibig Luke watching Calvin Harris. That's Yeah. Ten feet off. Hey, 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 hey. It's really cool. I remember at one point I was with uh I think David Guetta and Hartwell and uh, was it Akon? Wow. And, okay. And what's her name? Uh, the girl from Singing in the Shower. I forget her name. Becky G. Yes. Yeah. And we were all there on the site. And I think we were watching Skrillex. And we were all like mind blown about this new sound that it was playing. It was 2015, uh, yeah. I think. Wow. So many names. Yeah. That's awesome. Right, I want to ask you, the last question is all about wall recordings. Now, of course, mm-hmm. your label is legendary, it's your last name, and many names have come out of it over the years, like Quintino, and now you've got like Chasner, Chico Rose. What are your plans 2021 and beyond for the label? Uh, sign more artists. I'm looking for more artists to sign. Awesome. Like I've been really pushing the demo at wall recordings email, mm. and I'm really looking for new artists, new producers, new yeah. people to sign because like our, my team is very strong now. We're in a very good place. Yeah. Uh, the, the infrastructure is very good. And now we just need the right people with the right music to. Yeah, to I'm support. sure they'll come. I'm de- it's it's going to get better. So your label's just going to come out. I'm waiting. Uh, we're also do, uh, planning to do more listening streams, mm. do more demo listening streams. And what about oh. things like ADE? We have more label nights because the one back at 2016, that was a night to remember as well. I think we'll, we'll start doing all of this stuff, but right now my main focus is finding more artists. Yeah, I'm that's very it. happy with uh, Chico Chasner. We, we just signed Rencido, who's more of an underground artist. Nice. Um, like for me, really, the focus is getting the right people on board. Of course. On top. Because like right now, we have a very small lineup if we're going to do a label night. Yeah, you'll, so get, wanna, you'll get there. I want to build I'm excited. More. Yeah. I'm awesome. actually, I'm working, I'm working on uh, another two signings. Uh, I can't, I'm not going to say anything about it un- until it's actually happened. But it's looking yeah. like it's happening. So that's, that's very, very yeah. exciting. I look forward to seeing it. Awesome. Yeah, me too. I was going to say, I cannot wait to see you at a festival soon. Hopefully, Creamfield. You're playing the main stage. I will be there, of course. So hopefully next I will time, be there too. Hopefully next time is not as long as the last time before we meet yeah. up again. So. Uh, and I will definitely stay around there for the weekend because uh, like, when I'm in a festival, trust me, it's going to be the first festival. I will live at the festival. Yeah. It's been a fucking year and a half. I'm going to check out every stage. I'm going to walk around all day and just have fun. Enjoy it. Take you it might out. need to be my tour guide. My pleasure. My pleasure. Thank you. It's good to see you, man. I'll talk to you soon. Good to see you. I'll see you later. Cool. Peace. Peace. So, yeah, that was myself and Afrojack having a quick catch up. It was great, obviously, finding out about Eurovision, his new wall recordings label. It's going to be coming together. He's got a song with David Guetta, Hero. So, to round off the video, I am going to show you a day in the life of Afrojack. This is a video I made earlier on. And it's just the best clips all pushed together of all the shows from Dolly Dad, you know, ADE, EDC Las Vegas, Ultra Miami, you name it, it's in there. Enjoy, and I will see you on the next backstage episode. Hello, it's Afrojack. So welcome to my hometown. What's up, New York? What's up, PC?
Ushuaia, Ibiza, you know what's going on. If you don't know, you don't know. <laughs>